Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, nothing like a late season heat wave here in late September, early October, but that's a case really through Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And then hopefully a cold front coming through next Thursday will begin to cool us down and maybe bring us back some rain. But today, boy, temperatures just soared after the warm front came through in the afternoon. 90 to 95 across the area, including the 93 in Evansville, Henderson, Owensboro, 94. With the front clear of the area, we may bring the temperatures down a little bit tomorrow, but the humidity will be coming up, so it's going to feel about the same, though the winds will be settling down some. But because of all this dry weather, and yes, this September will likely be the driest on record for Evansville, unless we get something between now and midnight Monday night, but I sure don't see it. And the burn bans continue to increase. The latest counties added today, Davis County, Kentucky. Of course, that includes the city of Owensboro, Gibson, and Dubois counties in Indiana. And that goes in addition to all the other counties you see here in red. And that's going to be pretty much the story through much of next week. Live first warning Doppler radar. It's dry. Could be an isolated shower here and there Sunday and Monday, but Again, we're going to have to wait until probably Thursday of next week for our next chance of rain and how high those chances are remain to be seen. But it feels pretty good outside if you're not wanting fall weather. It's a nice summer-like night. American RV Tower Camera out of downtown Owensboro. There's the east side of Evansville, or MCF Construction Tower Camera. But honestly, if this were the middle of summer, the current temperature of 81 would be extremely warm even for July. Dew point is up to 64, so it's much higher, though still in the tolerable humidity range. And there's still a bit of a south breeze out there coming in at around 10 miles per hour. Temperatures upper 70s to lower 80s. We're only going to wind up in the low 70s to around 70 degrees by daybreak tomorrow. Extremely warm for this time of the year. That's about 20 degrees above the average low, which is now down into the lower 50s. Severe weather to our north tonight. A brand new line of storms strung out from eastern Kansas across northern Missouri, northern Illinois, into the lower Great Lakes. But high pressure is going to keep all that to our north. Meanwhile, they are not only getting fall weather in the northern Rockies, it's changing to winter. These blue outlines are winter storm warnings. Western Montana, northern Idaho, into northeastern Washington state could be one to as much as two feet of snow over the weekend in some of the lower elevations out there in Montana. So it's one extreme to the other. But back at home, we're on the very warm side of that uh, system and a pattern. Future Tracker keeps us partly cloudy tomorrow. It'll still be breezy, but not as windy as today, but hot and humid, upper 80s to lower 90s, and extremely warm again tomorrow night. We just fall into the 70s during the evening. Overnight lows around 70. The more than pink walk a Sunday morning starts in the 70s, ends in the 80s, but it will be dry. Mix of sun and clouds for Sunday. Hot, humid, highs up around 90, if not a bit higher, and basically more of the same on Monday. Future Tracker Tries to bring a few spotty showers up to the eastern fringe in the afternoon, but that's about it. Lower 90s, and we'll be in that ballpark again for the first day of October. So overnight, mainly clear, extremely warm, 69 to 73 the low. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, very warm and humid. Uh, upper 80s to lower 90s across the area. And the seven-day forecast, not much change. And these numbers are fairly conservative. The models have a hard time dealing with the heat that is this high this time of the year. So basically, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we're looking at highs of 90 to 95. The humidity is there. It's going to make it feel more like, say, 95 to 100. And then maybe the heat comes down a bit on Wednesday as the clouds increase. The relief is with a cold front coming through Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Scattered showers and thunder showers. Whether we get significant rain remains to be seen. But it does look like it will cool us down to around 80 Thursday, maybe next Friday. Next Friday, we're back to lows in the 50s and highs in the upper 70s. That would be nice because, you know, we change over to October yeah. next uh, week. And October is the prime time for fall weather. Then you get into November and, and you're looking at winter around the corner. You're not seeing the leaves even change right now. It's going to be a late, falling down. Yeah, it's ground. going to be a late season, probably peaking in early November instead of late October. Right. Really? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Yeah.